I'm going to show you two ways to prove the quotient rule. In this first way, we're going to do something similar that we use to prove the product rule. And we're going to write y equal to g over h, where g and h are differentiable functions and h is not equal to 0 and the derivative of h is not equal to 0 either. So from here, we're going to take the natural log of both sides and then using log properties, we get that ln g minus ln h is the same thing. And then we have an opportunity to use implicit differentiation again. And we get 1 over y times the derivative of y is equal to 1 over g times the derivative of g minus 1 over h times the derivative of h. Now we're going to multiply by g over h for both sides. So then in this case, y cancels out. And then over here, we have the derivative of g over g times g over h minus the derivative of h over h times g of h. The g's cancel out over here, but nothing cancels out on this side. So instead of having two different fractions, or I guess the difference of two different fractions, we're going to put everything over a common denominator, h squared. So over here, we'd have to multiply the numerator and denominator by h. So we have g prime h minus h prime g. And that's equal to the derivative of g over h. So notice how here order matters because we know that g prime h minus h prime g is not equal to h prime g minus g prime h, which is one difference between the quotient rule and product rule. And now I'm going to show you a different way to, I guess, derive the quotient rule.